Hello everyone, welcome to my first Blender tutorial. We are currently in Blender 3.6 and in this one we will going to make a beverage can. It's quite a simple one to do and you will learn a lot about moving stuff around, building, uh, putting up reference images and extruding, scaling and all the simple stuff in Blender. We are currently in Blender 3.6 and if you're starting screen doesn't look like this i mean it it most surely doesn't this is because i have everything set up for making cars which i mostly do in my spare time and you can see that in the description of the channel below on my art station site uh, portfolio site so let's first delete this cube that i have got set up for car making uh, we are deleting stuff with the letter X and I mean first you need to select it press X and delete okay so let's go into front view which we will go by pressing the number one button and first of all we need to add the reference image always whenever you are modeling try and look at as much reference images as you can I'm using bref for that you can use pureref or any other reference program and always if you're doing hard surface stuff insert some reference image to start with so first of all let's go to image reference and let's go to my blender blueprints folder and let's put in the beverage can okay what we need to do is go to the right side here and press on the object data properties we will turn off or uh, we will keep orthographic and turn off perspective what that does is it makes it so you can't see it when you are moving your cursor around I mean your view around but if you go back by pressing one into front orthographic view you can see that it sh still shows in orthographic okay now we are going to lower the opacity I like to work at 0.3 and I am going to move this image a little bit up so that the bottom of the can lines up with this red line that we have. So let's press G and then let's press letter Z which will move the can up on the Z axis. So letter G is for moving try to remember the shortcuts as much as you can I have enabled screencast keys so you can see that and if we press ctrl we can move it up the z axis by the set amount as you can see it moves on the grid and if we press shift we can slowly move it so this is for really precise movement let's first use ctrl to get it close enough and then let's use shift to line it up properly okay now when we have our uh, reference image our background let's insert something that we will work with and for that i'm going to go to uh, okay press shift a as you can see in the screencast keys this brings uh, the menu for adding stuff in the oh that's, that was my mobile phone for adding stuff in the blender let's go to mesh and let's insert circle okay a lot of people tend to do it with a cylinder some tend to do it with uh, just a curve and then adding geometry to it i like to do it with a circle since we'll use subdivision modifier let's turn the count of vert vertices to something a bit lower like 60 okay for now the beverage can is going to be really big but we will as you can see the radius is one meter but we will fix that later okay now uh, when you are done with with these settings here for adding a circle which you can uh, where you can basically deform it and move it however you want we will close that up just remember that once you press anywhere on the screen this little window goes away okay as you can see we pressed and it's gone away okay let's select the circle let's press tab to go to edit mode let's zoom a little bit closer 
g to move, z to move on the z-axis. Let's move it around here. S to scale it. Let's scale it a little bit inside so it fits the curvature and the radius of the beverage can. And now let's extrude it on the z-axis by pressing E for extrude and Z to, to extrude it on the z-axis. And let's go first downwards up until around here. Now let's press Alt and click to select this loop of vertices. And let's press E and Z to extrude it back again. It would be much easier with the cylinder, I think, but I just like to do it like this. Okay, let's extrude some more on the z-axis all the way up to the rim here. Okay. Now let's press Alt and Z to go into X-ray mode, or you can switch it up here. I have already learned all the, all the shortcut keys, so yeah. Okay, let's scale it up a bit until it matches the curvature of the beverage can. And let's put another one here, just so we can tighten up this here and follow the curvature. So S again and scale it a little bit. Okay, let's go down, press Alt-Z, uh, I mean, uh, press Alt and click to select this row of vertices, this loop. E to extrude, Z to, scale, uh, Z to constrain it to Z axis, let's move it down, S to scale, okay, and let's, an let's add another loop cut here with Ctrl R, right click to, to go into, uh, right click to remove yourself from uh, vertex move mode, which you can enable again with the GG. Okay, right click and then let's press S and scale it a little bit. Okay, now when we have all of this done, let's enable our subdivision modifiers. So go to modifiers, add modifier, add subdivision surface. You can do it with a control 1, 2 and 3 to add different levels of subdivision. We will go for subdivision 2 and render 2. Okay. Okay, now press Alt and left click to select these row vertices and let's extrude them up on the z-axis till we reach the top. Now let's box select everything, I mean uh, all the top vertices. You need to be in x-ray mode to be able to select through the mesh. If you are not, I will show you now, it will only select the front. As you can see, the back one is not the back ones are not selected. That's why I need to be in X-ray mode. Okay, now let's press Alt and E to extrude faces along normals and extrude it a little bit out. With Shift, you can control the amount. Okay. So now we have the rim as well. If you toggle X-ray mode back on, off, you can see. Now all we need to do, oh, see, I made a mistake. I didn't select everything in X-ray mode. That's why you need to be really careful. Okay, Alt and E, extrude along normals, Shift and extrude. Okay, now we have it all. Okay, so as you can see, our... Oh, <clears throat> I accidentally deleted the modifier, sorry. As you can see, our beverage can is now really, really smooth and the edges are not the way they should be. That will soon be fixed. First, let's shade smooth so that everything looks smooth and not jagged. Okay, and now to make the beverage can look the way it does to have these edges, we need to put some control loops. So press Control R and put a control loop and move it all the way up here. And let's put another one here and a little bit down. So now you can see we have this 
this a little bit sharper edge. If you want to make edges really sharp, all you need to do is press GG and slide these control loops all the way here. And now it's more sharp, actually sharper. Okay, let's control Z this. Let's do the same down here. Put one control loop here and another one here. And now we have the perfect curvature. Okay. We can delete this one if we want. So select everything, press X and dissolve edges. And as you can see, we have the perfect kind of Okay, let's do the bottom. Alt click to select everything. Now I will move it. Press E, then S to scale it inside a little bit. Then E and S again. E and S again. Okay, and what we'll do now is press E to extrude, S to scale, and we will press M and yeah, we should do it like this and merge everything at center. Okay, now let's alt click this loop of vertices and shift alt click this one and let's move them with G and Z a little bit up so that we have, <coughs> excuse me, so that we have nice indent. Okay, now let's put another control loop here to tighten this up a bit and another one here here so we have this little bit sharper edges okay now we have done the bottom let's go back to the top select the inner row of the inner row of uh, vertices not that one this one Let's go to top view with number 7, E to extrude, S to scale a little bit inside. Now E to extrude, G and, G and Z to move it a little bit down. And then E to extrude, S to scale a little bit inside. E, S, E, S, E, S, E, S. I'm adding little bit more geometry than necessary just so we can have a little bit more to play around with the top of the of the beverage can okay and let's go one more es and then merge merge vertices you can do it with right click and go here or you can do it with m and merge at center this is quite a bit of triangles. You can do it the other way around. Let me show you and press Ctrl F and you can go into grid fill. And you can fill it with a grid of faces which you can offset and do kind of and you can select the span and everything you want so that you get everything to be quads. Okay. But we will go back into having it as a one single point with a lot of triangles. Okay, now when we press seven and go to top view, you can press, sh you can press control to, uh, I mean, uh, tab to go back into object mode, press shift A, and let's add another reference image. And I have the top of the beverage can. Let's do it again. From perspective, deselect perspective, opacity 0 0.3, and let's put it in the front. Okay, now let's scale it so it matches our beverage can, and here it is. Now let's select the can again and press tab to go into edit mode, and now we will create the all these indents. Okay, since we added the reference image. Let's make this easier on us. Let's press Alt and Z to go into X-ray mode. Let us select only half of half of this mesh. 
let's delete it delete vertices uh, I mean delete faces sorry and now we can make it much easier just by adding a mirror modifier put it above the subdivision so now we only have to do one side of the can to make it even easier for modeling let's hide the bottom part so it doesn't get in the way just select it and press H go back to top view and let's move some vertices around to get the shape we want uh, before doing that enable clipping so that you can move it without destroying the mesh if you don't have clipping enabled you move it like this and then it's it creates a hole so yeah enable clipping okay let's move it a little bit up this goes here this one goes here so now it's just about moving the vertices wherever you want them to be to create the shape so that it's all quads except inside the middle one let's move this here yay move this a little bit here here okay and this one here okay now we have the middle part let's just make it a little bit prettier okay so we have this part just select everything by control clicking you select the shortest path and okay I think this one needs to go a little bit out and this one a little bit out okay now let's select this again see sometimes it just picks the wrong path I mean it picks the shortest one just the wrong one for me okay and now let's oopsie daisy now let's press i to inset everything inset it a little bit press g and move it on the z-axis if we go back from uh, x-ray view you can see that we have a little indent here oh okay i know where i made a mistake if you make this kind of mistake it's because i inserted it wrong so you need to press i to inset and then b for boundary and then shift and inset it a little bit and now press g and z and move it a little bit down and now as you can see there is no no ridge here okay now let's go back to seven why did my mirror modifier go away i don't know i guess i turned it off accidentally okay now you can see it looks perfect so far okay now let's do this part here let's move this one over here uh, here this one a little bit down here let's put another loop so we can get this edge and another loop for this one and another loop for this one okay so this one needs to be moved so we get this shape here this one needs to be moved so we get this shape all these ones need to be moved okay this one this one okay it looks a little bit scuffed but it will look fine in the final render 
Okay, now select all of these. And move and these here and these. And move them a little bit down. So G Z a little bit down. Okay. Now these select these ones. Oops. This is my first tutorial, so bear with me a little. G, Z, down, 7. Oh, I've got to select these ones here. Sorry. So G, Z, 7. Okay. And now this select this GZ a little bit down. Okay, now we need to add some control loops to tighten this up. So let's add one here. Let's add one here. Put X ray mode on. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Quite decent. Okay, it's a nice pattern. Now all we need to do is model this cap here. So let's press Control A, add mesh, add another circle let's press shift to go into edit mode scale it up i mean scale it down g z and up seven now just line it up here delete half of it X vertices, add modifier, add mirror, and now just model it. Model it by moving the vertices around. Okay, enable clipping. I forgot to do that. So might have a little issue, but that's fine. Select everything with Alt click. E to extrude as to scale. Okay. Now select all of these ones. Move them a bit inside. Move this one here. Select. Uh, move this one, select, uh, okay, select this one and this one, E to extrude, connect them here, move this one up. Modeling is mostly all about moving vertices around. Let's leave it like this, okay. Select this inner loop, E, S, move it all the way here, okay. Select these two, E to extrude, let's move this one here, this one here, this will be our circle, okay. Now we will use an add-on called loop tools, which you can find in edit, preferences, add-ons, just loop tools. Okay, 
enable that press right click loop tools circle to make it a perfect circle okay now let's move this one around here let's add a subdivision modifier levels okay now select everything press one hold z and let's add a little bit of thickness with e to extrude and then move it on the z-axis this is gonna be just fine okay now go to seven again select only these upper ones one e to extrude move it up a little bit Z, shade, shade smooth, let's tighten this up a bit, okay, and we can tighten the inside by putting two two loops inside you can do this just by moving the mouse wheel and do it on the outside as well okay so we have a nice bottle cap let's move it down g z actually stay in the stay in the edit mode press a to select everything g z move down gz move it down until it fits okay if you get these kind of jagged edges around here all you need to do is first let's press alt h to unhide everything this is because we added a loop here and we will oh, wow. make a small mistake let's first select this loop delete vert uh, dissolve edges i even need it to actually we can we can do it without okay let's do this and here we go I know it's not been quite straightforward as it should be, but let's add some material. Let's go to shading. I already have selected render engine as cycles and as GPU compute. And I use Blender Kit for, for materials and HDRIs and stuff. So let's find under categories some outdoor hdri let's take this one zen garden chinese garden i mean and we need to go to viewport shading let's go to render settings film and transparent to remove the background okay now let's add the material to the can materials or actually we can make our own one let's just press new material let's take ggx christensen burley let's do base color something grayish okay like a little bit more like this let's turn the metallic almost all the way up roughness a little bit down Okay, so now we have the basic material. Let's add the same material. We need to rename it to metal. Let's put the same material top here. Okay, now to add the, the sticker, let's go to layout this right now select the can want to go into 
front view. Now let's select Alt Z to enable the X ray. Let's select everything up to here, including this loop here. Okay. Now now we have all of this selected to create the label we need to press shift d to make a duplicate press right click to put it in place where it was p selection separated by selection and now as you can see you have this kind of shading issues that's because these two which we are going to rename now to beverage can this one into beverage cap, beverage can cap, and this one into beverage can label. Okay, the shading issue is because these two geometries are one on top of other, so let's go into edit mode, press A, and scale it with shift just a little bit okay so there is no issue anymore because now they are not on top okay now to get the label just select the beverage can label delete this material and a new one and i'm gonna use the one i used before on my art station which you can see so Let's press uh, Shift A to and search for image texture. Put it here. Connect the color with base color. Select Open, and I have it in my Blender decals, my lime soda, an image, and as you can see, it's not showing the way it's supposed to show. So what you need to do now is enable preferences enable node wrangler so it it makes your life easier press ctrl t with lime soda selected here with the image selected so it creates this mapping connected to uv mapping into vector and we need to unwrap it First of all, let's get into object mode, apply all modifiers, control, press A to select everything, press U and press unwrap. Okay, now we will go into UV editor. Okay, and we will unwrap it again with smart UV project. Let's make an island margin. Okay, and now what we need to do is select everything here, A, rotate it by 180, and scale it up, let's make a little bit more room to work. Scale it. Okay. And now you have the Lime Sensation Soda. Let's scale it on the X as well a little bit. Okay. Let's see. And let's move it down. So here it is, one lime sensation soda. Let's make everything ready for rendering. So go to layout, front view, press shift A, mesh, add plane. Leave it at two meters. Let's apply all the modifiers on our can. If you don't have the 
this apply all you need to go to preferences again and what's this one called uh, uh modifier tools need to apply that enable that i mean okay let's apply all now when everything is applied uh, you can see there's a little bit of problem so let's scale it up a bit sure you can see how it looks it's fine okay now let's scale the whole bottle uh, i mean um, whole beverage can select everything yes actually you can do it like this go to item dimensions and let's just divide everything by ah, i made a i made a mistake let's just scale it it's easier so it's something like 10 centimeters okay zoom in by pressing the del key on the keyboard uh, i mean the number pad let's make the background So like this e z two enter okay. now let's make a bevel shade smooth let's get in the camera shading well which can You can rotate it now if you want. RZ9. RZ. Okay, line sensation. Let's get the front view. Okay, let's put in the camera. And now you can make the camera view wherever you want just by pressing ctrl alt and zero and then go into view camera to view and now you can move it wherever you want i'm gonna put it here okay now let's deselect that press zero to remove yourself from the camera view and let's on a new material for the background let's go with something uh, reddish orangish no. no this is green then this needs to be a little bit red maybe dark red okay lower the roughness no actually this is not good something like this is better okay let's put our camera back into action something like this okay uh, before rendering let's just select the bottle again and let's turn the roughness a little bit down on this material and metallic a little bit up so we get a better label and now if we go to rendering with f12 our lime sensation soda is gonna render and i will show you that screen in a bit As you can see, it's rendering and it rendered. Okay, let's put it here. So 
this is done. Press image, save as, and I'm gonna create a new one, which is gonna be called Blender Tutorials. Open it up and save it as a PNG image. Beverage. Okay, and that's it for the first tutorial. I hope you like it. I know it's been a little bit scruffed. That's because it's my first Blender tutorial, so I'm, I apologize for that. But next one is going to be much, much smoother and better. If you want to follow me for more Blender tips or you want to follow my ArtStation profile, click the link below. And thanks for watching.